There we go. Our final entrepreneur is an engineer and toolmaker who's designed the solution to a four-legged problem. He and his business partner have a clear idea of where they want to take the business and who they want to get there with. Well, this year, with the addition of the three new dragons, it's certainly interesting to see which one would actually fit well with our products. And uh, looking at Nick's business and his history, how he actually made that product go viral, that's what we need with our product. Hello Dragons, my name's Steve Chacal. My business partner and the event of our product is Tony Garlic. Hello Dragons. Our company is called Maglock UK and we've invented a revolutionary new type of connector that has the potential to sell literally multiple millions of products. Like many people, I struggle when I use traditional trigger clips such as this. So, generally, you need to use two hands. So, you obviously have first hand to find the actual D-ring, second to activate the clip, and then you connect. Now, likewise, you have to do the same in reverse to release the dog. You need to hold, press, and unhook. What I actually developed was maglock. It's very simple. You add this to the actual trigger clip, and another unit sits right on the top piece there on the D-ring. And all you do is point it at the unit, and the unit connects. To actually release the unit, you just press the two side clips and pull. OK, Dragon, so at this point in time, you're probably thinking to yourself, that just looks like it's made out of plastic. Surely that wouldn't hold my dog. Perhaps just to demonstrate this, we just connect. Now, I weigh more than 70 kilograms. So, as you can see, the product is very strong and very durable. So, since launching this product in September 2013, we've sold in excess of 20,000 units. We've now established a distribution partner and he has licence to sell this product in 13 countries. The product itself retails at 9 99 We currently make this for £1.25, and we actually sell this to our distributor for £2.25. So we're here today to ask for £100,000 worth of investment in return for a 20% equity stake in our company. We would like to show you the products, but also we welcome some of your questions. A magnetic gizmo to improve the lives of dog and horse owners is the product on offer from Anthony Garlic and Steve Shakel. They're looking to collar a dragon for £100,000 in return for 20% of their company. So this is one we're developing for the equestrian industry, so this is a horse one. Nick Jenkins is chomping at the bit to begin the questioning. Steve, Tony. Hi, I'm, I'm Nick. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a dog owner, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm all ears for this one. Sorry, can, can, we, can we bring the dog out again? Yeah, sure. Can I, uh, can I just... Um, Feel right, free. So it's on there, OK. Yeah. So, so, sit. <laughs> Stay. Stay. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it, OK, I get it. Thank you. Get it. It works well. C can I just get up and try it on the horse? Absolutely, sure, yeah. Thank you. I've never realised I had a problem, to be honest. Um... Right, so have you got the alternative? Cos I wouldn't yes. use... And I don't use go. that. I, yeah, that one. That's yeah. the one I use. So that's two hands. Well, that isn't, is it? Yeah, well, usually when you get hold of the horse, you actually well, you connect with two hands. Well, you don't, do you? Well, I've because... had horses for 20 years. Well, and... so have I, yes. but I just do that. All right, I'm going to go sit down. The, the, uh, it doesn't stop me liking it. I'm just actually not convinced about it for horses, um, because I do everything one-handed anyway. It is actually anyway. approved by beta. So... Well, fine. That's a great way to win an investor over. Just tell me I'm wrong because somebody no, else no, thinks no, it's no, a no, really no, good all, idea. No, Horse lover Deborah Meaden isn't won over by the Equine Trade Association's endorsement of the product. But that hasn't deterred Nick Jenkins from feeling the love. 
I have to say that I, I, I think it's a great product. Uh, I love the engineering in it. It's fantastic. Thank you. And you know what? There's something slightly satisfying about, you know, it's one of those things that... If this really, really takes off and anyone recognises that it, it is pretty cool, I like it, actually, um, how much do you reckon sales could go to? Well, we sort of estimated that with investment, we could obviously take this into the American market. Yeah. So looking at the 13 countries plus America, year two, potentially, um, we could get up to half a million unit sales. I get the fact that you've got your distributor, you've sold you 20,000 units. Mm -hmm. Where has he sold those? Has he sold them in the UK? Yeah, he sold them in the UK. So they're available to buy at most pet stores, um, but also pets at home have it on their website now as well. Can I ask, when did you have the distribution deal? That's last year. Yeah, it's a new year. End of first quarter of last year. OK, so it's been, it's been 12 months. Yeah. yeah. So if you look at the best, what's the best month you've had so far? It would have been um, just before Christmas where he gave us an order for 10,000 units. 10,000 units at, at £2.25 a time? Yep. Yeah. 20,000 quid? Yep. Yeah. What concerns me about that is that it's been going for 12 months. You're putting mm -hmm. it on the shelves, so you're getting footfall into all the pet stores and you haven't sold that many. A once enthusiastic Nick Jenkins is beginning to lose his mojo for the product. And it looks like Sarah Willingham has made up her mind. I don't have any animals. We did have rabbits, but they died. So I don't really know whether this is any good or not. Your sales to date really worry me, if I'm being honest. It's not one for me. So good luck with everything, but I'm afraid I'm not going to be your investor, so I'm out. Um, guys, I'm genuinely not convinced about the equine market. It's not that hard on horses to clip it's... head collars. Obviously, I know. You know what it's like, especially bringing horses in at night. Doing right. that, yes. I, uh, I do you're not honestly it. not going to convince me because I, I, ju you know, I just thought it's, it, I find the other as easy. So I'm sorry, I won't be investing. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Deborah Meaden fails to give Steve and Anthony's product her seal of approval, and so joins Sarah Willingham in exiting the deal. Can Peter Jones see big money in Maglock? I think it's a really good, very neat, lovely product, but I'm, I'm now um, sort of sitting here and, and, and I'm not bemused, but sometimes when it happens when you come into the den and you pitch and you've got, like, the perfect investor and you kind of mm. realise that. When I, when I saw Nick talking to a stuffed animal as if it was real <laughs> and then got incredibly excited and went, wow, with that noise, <laughs> I have to tell you, I'm not quite as excited as Nick shuffling around on his seat. So I'm going to say that I'm out. Peter Jones is the third dragon to fail to feel the pull of the magnetic gadget. But Tuka Suleiman has remained silent so far and could go either way. Will he see past the product's poor sales and buy into its inventiveness? I do like the product. I just don't know how long this journey is going to be. Mm -hmm. If I look at this from a sheer business point of view of what you've put on the table, I'd say you haven't got much there. Mm -hmm. If I look at this for a crystal ball, there could be a big potential. I'll make you an offer. I'll give you the whole hundred thousand. But I want 40%. Tuka Suleiman is off the leash and straight in with an offer. Can Nick Jenkins put aside his concerns over sales potential to compete with a rival bid? Um, I'm going to make you an offer as well. 
The reason that I'm investing in this is because I think this is clever. I think it has enormous potential because a number of applications. This is a great idea and it needs to be capitalized on very quickly. And I think you'll need a lot of help with that because you need someone on your side who's done that before. So all of the money for 40%. Okay. Okay. Can you give us a minute, please? Please, thanks. It's head to head as Nick Jenkins matches Tuka Suleiman's bid. The full £100,000, but for 40% of the company. 20% more than the entrepreneurs were offering. Marketing genius or king of retail? It's a tough call. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for the offers. Uh, would there be any possibility where we could work with both? Probably not. Are you thinking the same as well? Yep. OK. Based upon where we need to go virally with our marketing and seeing what, Nick, you've done with your previous business and how that escalated, and that kind of fits with what we're really struggling with at the moment, Mm -hmm. I think we'd like to accept Nick's offer. Great. Well done. Mm -hmm. Well done. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Puppy love prevails as the entrepreneurs plump for the online aficionado who championed them from the outset. Well done. Well done. As soon as Nick. Uh, obviously picked the product up and tried it. We just knew we connected, but we just knew that he was going to be our investor. I think, Nick, they, they had you at... <laughs> hey. It would have been nice to have been able to walk away with two dragons, but having said that, we've got the, the main dragon that we wanted on board. 